No pants? Uh, no pants is a party. Uh, in my world, yes it is. You'll learn about it as time goes on. Uh, that counts. I'll count that. That's half. Um, backstage, do you play video games or are you watching what's happening? A uh, combination of both. Uh, backstage, if I have the luxury of multiple TVs, definitely playing some video games and I'm definitely watching what's going on. Best of both worlds. Your fiance is Australian. Have you visited Oz? I have been to Australia. It's a beautiful country. Have you? Um, no. Tell your I dad wanna, to hurry up and take you there. I want to. Yeah. And I want to go to Australia and Japan. Two very beautiful places. Love Japan. Love Japan. Our mom talks a lot about bugs in Australia. Does your fiance? No. A lot of uh, kangaroos, koala bears, and we, anything else that's pretty much dangerous in the world lives down there. Animal wise. We met a uh, kangaroo. Yeah, Oh, that's adorable. How does it feel to be officially part of AEW? Feels fantastic to be a part of AEW. Um, I, I prefer to be uh, nowhere else at this time. A lot of big things happening, a lot of huge things as you're probably aware of. Uh, things that I'm looking forward to and I'm pretty sure that the general audience is going to love as well. So, it's big for me. Exciting. How does it feel to see the 10 hand sign? feels great. I do it all the time. Like this, like this. I do it in my sleep, probably. I'm not sure because I'm sleeping, but if I if I had to bet, I do it all the time. You guys going to do it tonight? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean, what do you mean you don't, hold, stop. God, what do you mean you don't know, man? What's the matter with you? I, 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 Grow up, real quick. I just, I don't know. Are you going to do it? Nah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's, let's talk. You and me. Are you excited for tonight? Very. I've never wrestled in Edmonton before. Canada. In first almost 18 years. Yeah, first time here tonight. I've been to Vancouver, never to Edmonton. I'm very excited to perform for first Canadian fans. First time for us too. Was it by design to have the first day, first class start on Canada Day? First class of the school? Yeah. No, it actually, uh, we're actually starting it this Monday, June 24th. It was originally going to start on uh, July 1st. We bumped it up a week. So that's actually a good point. I didn't realize that. But uh, two Canadians running a school on July 1st, that, uh, that would have been actually a better idea now that I think about it. We start Monday. What inspired you to start a wrestling school as Tyler? Um, I, I just, it's a opportunity for myself and Tyler to give back for all the years that we've been in wrestling. Uh, we love helping, we love teaching. When we were part of WWE, we were put in many of those roles to help different classes and uh, different levels of talent. So now we have the opportunity to do that for everybody. So uh, we're looking forward to pumping out some future world champions, hopefully. Social media can uh, be a fantastic platform, but also it can be a nah, iffy platform. Uh, probably Instagram, because I'm more uh, visual. I like uh, videos, I like funny animal videos, uh, things like that. I, I'd much rather watch something than read something. So I'm probably Instagram's uh, my yeah. favorite one at the moment. What is the funniest thing you've ever seen in the ring? Funniest thing I've ever seen in a ring, oh my gosh. A long time ago, not in WWE or anything like that, it was on the Independence way back when. Yeah, he, uh, he ended up ripping his tights, and it was a big cut along the butt. He got caught on a piece of the guardrail, and he didn't realize it. And so he was in the ring wrestling, but there was a piece of his 
pants on his butt that was ripped and everybody can see his butt and they were laughing and I was laughing and I was on the apron watching this happen in a tag match. So, uh, you know, that, that's one thing that's kind of funny and then uh, the rest of the things I'll tell you when you get older. Favorite is, what's your favorite inspirational quote? quote. Oh, ooh, I follow uh, motivational quotes on Twitter of all things just because I like to hear what people have said from like history and from past. Uh, probably a simple one for me, uh, if you don't like your life, change it. It's, it's as simple as that um, for me. If you don't like the situation you're in or it's not making you happy, you can change it. A lot of people feel they can't, you can. You just have to make that leap. Try your hardest. Try your hardest, do what's best for you, be happy. Blues winning the Stanley Cup, any thoughts? Dude, it's been 50 plus years of the Blues. It's first time. So uh, I was hoping the Sharks were gonna actually push through to the finals. I thought that would've been cool. But to see yeah. a team like that, uh, a young team, and a team that barely made the playoffs and then go on to win the Stanley Cup, it was 50 plus years in the making. You can't, you know, those, the, those are what sports moments are made of. That's gonna go down in history as one of the greatest sports moments of all time. What did you think about it? Uh, you were going for Boston, weren't you? I didn't. I was going for the Blues because pretty much all of my friends were going for the Blues. Mm. Good choice. Yeah. How often? One of my friends were like actually just all along were rooting for the Blues, and I was like, when I saw the, fi the finals, I was like, <laughs> that wasn't me. That wasn't me. How often do you and your partners in the Sweets 100 get together to live stream? Ooh, we, uh, we don't get together to live stream as much as we'd like to, the three of us. We've only done it a few times. Uh, as you know, uh, the big idiot Corbs is quite busy. He, uh, he's quite busy. He's in a very predominant role on television, so he, he's hard to get a hold of. Breezy, Breezy, not so, not, not so much busy, but he's still, he's got a lot of things going on. He's so nice. He's, he's, a, he's a very, he's Canadian. So, I mean, you, you understand. I, I, I kind of figured that out for my dad to him. Technically now, our old cool. pal Dolby, technically old, he trained, or maybe, I'm pretty sure he trained Tyler. Trained with Tyler. Really? Another guy I wish they would do more with is Tyler Breeze, who I actually, I, I used to be Tyler Breeze's manager. Oh, really? Back uh, before he was in WWE, he worked in Edmonton for PWA, Prairie Wrestling Alliance. He was Matthias Wild. And I would go to the I would go to the ring with him and his tag team partner Dandy Dan Myers. How old are Sheriff and Marshall for those who don't know about your dogs? Do they have any tips to grow our Instagram? Oh, uh, let's see. Sheriff is just uh, probably coming up on three and a half, and Marshall uh, turned one in March, so uh, he's just over a year. Um, both sweet boys, both have a pretty good following on Instagram, I think, because uh, everybody loves dogs. Um, I, not I think so much on the cats. If they had, if they well, had, to... if, if it's a funny cat video, my, maybe they want to follow the cat. But one thing with all animals, if you have animals, I think the key is content. The more you put out pictures more, and videos of yeah. animals being more cute, more equals better. Laura Secord Secondary School. I did. did you get many chocolates? No, no, I didn't get many chocolates, but it is a fantastic chocolate. I have had it before, didn't get many, but it is a good chocolate. If you were not a professional wrestler, what would you have been? Ooh, it probably would be a, a police officer or in the policing field of some sort. Changes every day and it's exciting. What is with Canadians and wrestling? Uh, we're the best? That's probably the simplest answer. We pump out the best. Google it. What is the best piece of advice you've ever given? Uh, oh gosh, I've gotten nuggets of gold along the way. Um, probably just, I mean, bet on you. That's probably the best thing I was always told is no matter what, at the end of the day, always bet on you. Bet on yourself. What is the best piece of advice Dusty wrote to ever gave you? Oh, wow. Best piece of advice Dusty Rhodes ever gave me. Oh man, um, that that was one that came from him. Was always believe in you. You uh, you have what it takes. Just do you. So be authentic to yourself. Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. Oh wait, rapid fire. Um, Star Wars or Star Trek? 
Star Wars. Coffee or energy drinks? Energy drinks? What about them? Coffee or Oh, energy drinks. I'm sorry. Summer or winter? Ooh. Winter ah, for me. See, I love the four seasons. Ah, that's tough. Cause I, summer. I, and I hate shoveling snow. Winter. Ah, uh, I, I got to go summer. I, I can do, yeah. do a lot more in the summertime. Summer. I can do a lot more in the I summertime. I can do a lot more in the wintertime. Anything else? Thanks. Oh, winter drink. Anything else? Uh, this was fun. This was cool. Uh, if you guys don't know, these guys traveled, what, not, how long? Seven hours. Seven hours no, to be here. Hours. Probably. Around every, a lot of time. Let's, let's round up. We'll, a lot of time. we'll round up, but, you know. But uh, I'm really glad you guys made the trip. I really appreciate it. Oh, Canada. I mean, you had McFoley, you had Cody Rhodes, now you got yourself a perfect 10. They would never let me say it on TV. Get out your cameras, the rumors are true. You are looking. At the perfect 10. This was cool, guys. A lot of fun. Great job. Great work. Thanks Appreciate it. Great message. My pleasure, guys. You better cheer for me tonight. I'm, I'm will. looking at you. I will. I'm looking at you. I will. I will. I know I, you're on my I'm team. I'm telling you, See? I will. Do, do what your brother's doing. It's good to be home. It's good to be. I guess this means. Uh, I guess this means I'm coming back. So thank you to everybody that came out tonight. <laughs>